In the last episode of Three for the Road... Ah, now what's in the box, hmm? Nigel! Uh, Jerry, if you think I'm going on some half-assed trip in February with you and uh, uh, Nigel, you're very much mistaken. In the last episode of Three for the Road... Ah, now what's in the box, hmm? Nigel! Uh, Jerry, if you think I'm going on some half-assed trip in February with you and uh, uh, Nigel, you're very much mistaken. May I welcome you to Primrose Cottage b and A haven, we hope, for the weary traveller, whatever their leanings. I've put you in our best room. We've reserved this for newlyweds and other couples. I know you will appreciate the decor. Uh, Do I understand, Mrs... um... Barbara. Barbara, that we are in the same room? Yes, as you requested. Ah, yeah, I thought we'd save a bob or two and share, but I thought we'd have two beds. It's his booking sites. They don't make things clear. Oi, where are you going? I intend to book myself into an hotel. You'll be lucky, I'm afraid. The news hotel is ten miles away and they're always fully booked. And I don't have any spare rooms. Oh, come on, Ralph. Do I detect a teeny bit of domestic tension? Madam Barbara, you seem to be under some misapprehension that we are a same-sex couple. (laughs) I can assure you that nothing could be further from the truth. Now... I would be obliged if you could show me up to our, uh, my room. Tea? Oh, yeah, it'd be great. Thanks. How is he? Oh, he'll be fine. He just needs a bit of space. He's a bit precious, isn't he? Oh, you could say that. So, what brings you to this part of the world? Oh, well, well, it's a kind of, kind of pilgrimage. We used to live in the area when we were kids. And this other friend, Nigel... We used to hang out together. Oh. Yeah, we used to get up all sorts. When it was midsummer's day, we'd stay up all night on the hills, waiting for the sun to rise, drinking cider and playing guitars. Oh, so how has your little jaunt gone down at home? Oh, no, there's only me. My wife's gone. I'm sorry. Yeah, well, life goes on. I thought this trip might lay be some good, but it's not working out, though. Ralph can be really hard work. Is there a Mrs Ralph? Oh, yeah, but that came to an end when she ran off with my wife. Good Lord. Yeah, well, they used to be a jazz band together, and, you know, one thing led to another. It is thought it, eh? So where's your other friend? Oh, he's here. What, in spirit? No, in a box upstairs. We bought his ashes to scatter on the hills. Ooh, no. I'm not sure I'm comfortable with that. A dead body in the house? Well, not exactly a body, more its components. Nevertheless, I don't think I can have it in the house. Could I ask you to leave it in your car? Well, I don't know about that. Somebody might steal him. Then where would we be? Oh, please, I insist. All right, just for you. Hmm, do you think you could make any more noise? What are you reading? Vasari's Lives of the Artists. Oh, yeah, any good? It's a page-turner. Where's Nigel? In the bathroom. What? You can't put him in there. He'll get all soggy. Don't be ridiculous. I'll just go and put him in the car. Oh, take your time. Oh, look what I've found. You can charge your phone now. Yeah, give it here. Oh, you've got a message. Do you mind? Give it here. Uh, oh, it's Hecuba. Uh, message from Nigel's wife. Uh, Oh, (laughs) she's after you for some reason. (laughs) Oh, not happy. Oh, really? Let's see if Hecuba can shed some light on the matter. Ah. 
Hello? Uh, hello, darling. Hello, Daddy. I'm, I'm calling about the, uh, the message. Ah, yes. Well, it's called again in a real funk. What? Something about a box going missing. Thank you, darling. Um, see you soon. Ciao. So, Jerry, anything to say? About what? Kanita seems to be missing something. Really? Really. Oh, all right, all right. I may have liberated him while she wasn't looking. Well, you... You mean you stole his ashes from his wife? You you idiot. I mean, what were you thinking? Well, do you know, road trip, you, me, Nigel, on the hills. Oh, give it a rest. I mean, what have you got me into? Body snatching, is it now? Well, I would have thought you of all people would have understood. He was our oldest friend. Who you nearly bankrupted, may I remind you? Have you forgotten your ridiculous get-rich-quick schemes? The healing footbath. <laughs> what a disaster that was. It was going really well for a time. We had orders coming out of our ears. Yeah, until trading standards got involved. It was victimisation. It was a washing-up bowl with an element in it. It was efficacious. Nigel never really recovered from that little episode, thanks to you. Look, uh, Jerry, mate, it's not easy, I, I understand, but we have to soldier on. Oh, well, it's all right for you. You've got a nice, comfortable life, pensions, all the trimmings. Well, it's not all it's cracked up to be. People are more important than money and possessions. Yeah, well, I suppose so. Let's go to the pub. <sighs> Did you have to bring that with you? Well, I couldn't leave him behind. Evening, gents. What'll it be? Oh, right, no. Um, um... Oh, for God's sake. Uh, landlord, um, do you have a robust red? I, I, I'm thinking something new world, perhaps. Well, we, we've got red wine in these little bottles. Merlot. Any good? I'll have a very dry sherry. And you, sir? Right, I'll have um, an old Scroggins ruby ale. Small. So that's a, a sherry and a half a bitter. My retirement to the Bahamas is just a little bit closer. Ah, this is nice. Country pub, you, me. It's like old times. Should we take a pew? Oh, mustn't forget this. <laughs> As if I could. How are you going to square this with Kanita? Oh, she'll be fine. I fail to see how having one's husband's ashes scattered to the four winds without your permission by a complete half-wit constitutes fine. Yeah, yeah, she'll be fine. Yeah, no problem. Uh, anyway. So, this is the countryside, is it? Endless traffic jams behind tractors, landowners selling their wives... Nearest culture, two hours away. Oh, you keep your voice down. God, nothing happens outside London, according to you. No, 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 not true. Second homes. Oh, there's plenty of potential there. Sometimes I wonder why we stay friends. Ah, the eternal mystery. I suspect no one else will have us. Anyway, we've come too far to stop now. Oh, blimey, this is getting a bit serious for me. Top up? No, I, I think I've had enough excitement for one day. I'm turning in. OK, I'll join you. <laughs> oh, uh, don't look round. Where? But, uh, I said don't look round. Um, did you notice that man in black behind us? He was taking an interest in our conversation. And in the, uh, you know what. Really? Are you sure? Let's go. Uh, and look lively. So how are we going to do this? Side to side? Head to toe? I was thinking that I would sleep here and you sleep there. What, on the floor? That's not fair. Who arranged all this? Exactly. Need I say more? And anyway, why have you still got that thing with you? And why is it on the bed? Oh, oh blimey. Barbara won't be pleased. I'll, I'll pop in the car. Oh, give it to me. It, oh, it's not as heavy as you made it out to be. 
Oi, stop fiddling with it. What on earth? The lid's come off. This is Nigel. No, really? Hmm. It looks like bundles of banknotes. There must be thousands here. I don't understand. So, you took Nigel, the box, from his house, and now it contains a huge amount of cash. Well, it can't be. I haven't let it out of my sight. Unless it wasn't Nigel all along. Yeah, but... Oh, shit. 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 So, what are you going to do now, then? Now, Mr, uh, I just want to go on a little road trip like old times. I don't know. I, I need to think. Oh, for God's sake. We've got to get it back to Kanita. Now! Stop panicking. I'll need to think this through. Let's sleep on it. Sleep? Sleep? I can't sleep now. Oh, good. I'll have the bed. Oh. You've been listening to Three for the Road. Ralph... Rob Edwards, Jerry Jonathan Hirons, Barbara Virginia Denham, Nigel Zubin Vala. Other parts were played by members of the cast. Written by Jonathan Hirons, music by Colin Meehan and Paul Rose. Three for the Road is a Buffalo Lounge Studios production.